This is the Techno Spark 8P, a device which should be an upgrade to the Spark 7P as it now brings a 1080p Full HD display, a more interesting design, upgraded camera, but it comes with the MediaTek Helio G35. What up guys, Izzy here and welcome to the channel. So the Techno Spark 8P, it was officially made available to the Nigerian market last Tuesday I think. It is noticeably better looking than the Spark 8 we saw earlier with that lovely camera bomb design. We all know the Spark 8's camera bomb was not so interesting. Now the Techno Spark 8P comes in two variants, that is a 64 and a 128 gig storage option. Both of them with 4 gigs of RAM and they are both priced at 77,000 Naira and 86,500 Naira respectively. Aside its interesting design and improved display, one thing that might raise some eyebrows about the Spark 8P is the use of the MediaTek Helio G35 as opposed to the G70 we got on its predecessor. Now we are going to get into that detail later but first, let's see the contents of the box of the Spark 8P. I'll say the unboxing experience is only slightly different from previously thanks to its more minimal box which still does not exclude any accessory even while being a smaller package. You'll get all the accessories typical of techno devices. They are one of the very few brands that still continues to give us headphones in the box. There is a pre-installed screen protector on the Spark 8P right from the box. Now back to its design and build quality. The Techno Spark 8P is a compact phone. It is well built with plastic on the rear and glass on the display. Much credit to techno for this design. Aesthetics aside, it is a very comfortable phone to hold thanks to its curved rear edges. It is about 0.2 inches smaller than its predecessor, the Spark 7P, at 6.6 .6 inches. I think the Spark 7P was 6.8 inches. This color is the turquoise cyan. There are other color options, about three other interesting options. That is Atlantic Blue, Irish Purple, and Tahiti Gold. I think those are the color options. Now, the rear design of the Techno Spark 8P is segmented. The top is a glossy and mirror-like part which hosts the triple cameras and the lower part which has a lovely striped texture design. It is mod resistant but I can't say the same for the top glossy part. Something interesting you are going to notice on the glossy top part is how its edges light up when you use the flashlight. It looks really cool. All in all, it's a really beautiful design and if design were the only reason to choose a phone, the Spark 8P certainly checks out. All the sports and buttons are located in their expected position. You can notice the fingerprint scanner has now moved to the right side of the device on the power button. We had it rear mounted on the Spark 7P. Now the side mounted fingerprint scanner is very easy to reach and quite fast to unlock the device. It works as expected. With the Spark 8 series, Techno is yet to adopt USB-C. We have to make do with a micro USB port for charging, which does not necessarily affect the performance but it is late 2021, USB-C is best practice, I believe you all will agree with me. Now you have a single speaker on the Techno Spark 8P, it is a button firing one which is pretty good for its price. The Techno Spark 8P like all other techno devices supports dual nano SIM cards and there is an extra slot for a micro SD card. The SIM slot is on the left side of the device, there is nothing on the top frame. Of all the upgrades the Spark 8P brings, its display is one I definitely didn't see coming. Most devices at this price point come with a 720p display but this time, the Spark 8P has a 1080p Full HD display. While this is a much welcome improvement, it comes at a cost. It is a 60hz display as opposed to the 90hz we got on its predecessor. Now tell me in the comments what do you prefer, a 1080p 60hz display or a 720p 90hz display? I guess most might go for the higher resolution display with standard 60hz over lower resolution with 90 hz high refresh rate display. I guess that is up to you. Uh, it should not be that hard to decide, right? The Spark 8P display is 6.6 .6 inches in size and it has a water drop notch style. It is a sharp display and it's also good looking for content consumption. If you are coming from a display with a high refresh rate though, you will notice the less fluidity with scrolling. Just above the display of the Techno Spark 8P to the top right, you have a front facing flash which also doubles as a charging indicator but not a notification LED. The software on the Techno Spark 8P is Techno's HiOS version 7.6 on Android 11. It is still HiOS as we know it, still feature packed and also pre installed with a ton of bloatware applications. HiOS here is not like the version we got with the Common 18 series or the Phantom X, which was version 8 or is version 8.0. The notification pull down menu is still the old style, which some might appreciate, and we do not have that translucent look of the newer HiOS user interface. You however still get plenty features like auto call recording, peak proof, kids mode, 
social turbo, smart panel, and plenty others to explore. While the Technospark 8P shines in design, display configuration, and a big 5000mAh battery, which is pretty hard to kill, it is also pretty hard to charge full. It lacks USB-C and there is also no fast charging, so we are looking at up to 3 hours of charging time. However, the battery lasts really long, so you may not really need to charge until night time, so I guess that works. The Spark 8P is powered by the more recent MediaTek Helio G35 processor, an octa-core processor which we can say is decent for performance at this price point, but the benchmark techno already set with previous devices kinda makes it difficult to consider this as an upgrade. Case in point is Spark 7P which is powered by the much better Helio G70 processor. Now that is not to say the Helio G35 is subpar, it powers the device quite well and it has the same benchmark scores, it just won't give you as much gaming performance or efficiency as the Helio G70 on the Spark 7P which also has a 90Hz higher screen refresh rate so that is definitely going to be better for gaming. The Spark 8P is an upgrade in the camera department with its 50MP main camera which is a significant upgrade from the 16MP camera you get on its predecessor. You have a 2 megapixel depth sensor and an AI lens. The selfie camera remains unchanged at 8 megapixels. You will get some pretty good and sharp photos from the 50 megapixel camera. To ensure super high resolution photos at 50 megapixels, you have to enable Ultra HD from the menu below. Dynamic range is good and you will also get a good amount of background blur if you have your subjects close enough. We don't get night mode on the Spark 8P. Its selfie camera pretty much gets the job done, selfies appear sharp and decent with HDR for an 8 megapixel camera. Portraits are ok but as expected no HDR processing with portraits, hence the overblown highlights. From both the selfie and rear cameras, you can shoot videos up to 1080p 30 frames per second with no stabilization. The Technospark 8P is a decent phone for its price, it is competing with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy A12. While it improves on the design and the display, the main fact that this processor is a downgrade from the Spark 7P makes it strange to recommend over its predecessor, unless you don't intend to game regularly on it and you kinda fancy this design which is actually much better than its predecessor and also you want that upgraded 50 megapixel camera and that full HD display. Those just might be good enough reason to choose the Spark 8P over the 7P which was also released earlier this year. With that said, do give this video a like if you found it helpful or a dislike if not. Also consider subscribing.